Hi, I'm Courtney, and here's Joey. And I want you to notice my lovely Ferret's Make Me Happy shirt. <laughs> it looks kind of similar to that painting right there. I had an artist paint this for me. I love it very much, and so did a company that decided to steal it and use it for a t-shirt. <laughs> Before the artist and I got the t-shirt taken down, a friend of mine bought me this, so I wanted to share it with you today. And I also wanted to talk about safety on the 4th of July for your ferret. Here in the United States, it's our Independence Day, and that means there's a lot of fireworks and cookouts, so I just wanted to touch on what you can do to make your ferret comfortable. Joey is enjoying some salmon oil, so I want to tell you about the 4th of July. I have fireworks that go off near my house, and also some neighbors that like to do fireworks. So I am sure that Joey is in his cage with the radio on because I try to drown out the fireworks because of the loud booms and the bursts and I just don't want Joey to freak out. So that's my advice if you have a ferret is just to try to get them in a place where you know they're going to be safe and you know that you can kind of drown out any noises that might frighten them. If you have a cookout going on, just be sure you talk to your guests. I would think about putting your ferret in a pen or in their cage just because guests might mean well but they probably don't know how ferrets are and that ferrets can be really quiet and get in doorways and maybe a cotton one or if people are going out to the grill all day like going to get hot dogs and hamburgers your ferret might slip out the door and nobody would know until it's too late. The fireworks also cause a lot of pets to go missing. Not just talking about ferrets because they're mainly inside, but talking about dogs and cats just because I used to work at a business that did microchips that get put into animals and I was one of those people that were on the phone trying to help the lost pets get home and our busiest day of the year was July 5th because of all the animals that had bolted after hearing the fireworks. So just keep that in mind. Keep your animals safe. Keep them nice. And I, I know that some ferrets may not care. Some of you are probably like, my ferret is gonna sleep through it. No problem. But others get scared. So just be sure you're mindful of what your ferret, how your ferret is responding. And I hope you guys have a great 4th of July. And you still liking that salmon oil? It's one of his favorites. So I will see you guys next time. Bye.